try to beat you at cards. <laughs> oh, you're just hungry. You'll get your licks in after supper. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, hello, Matt. Hello, Clara. Look who's here, dear. It's Matt Corey. Once you didn't come here to see me, did you, Matt? No, ma'am. Well, in that case, I'll go to the kitchen and check on the roast chicken. Good idea. You behave yourself. Yes, ma'am. You, uh, you want a drink or something? No, thanks. I'll just say what I came to say and then go home to Donna. She told me that you're going to be staying in Bay City for good. Do you have a problem with that? No. I just think we should get a few things straight if we're going to be running into each other. All right, Matthew. Well, why don't you straighten me out? Well, I know you gave Donna a hard time about the fact that we're getting married. No, I was honest with her. Well, I'll be honest with you. I love Donna. And I won't let you embarrass her in front of her friends. And Wait family. a minute. I'm not the one who... <clears throat> Sorry, go on. Please. You're the father of her children, so we'll be dealing with each other from time to time. They are grown women, so shouldn't be that often. Matthew, Donna is a grown woman, and yeah, she can do whatever she yet. wants. It doesn't really matter, because I want to tell you something. If you're waiting for me to give my approval for your marriage to Donna, you've got a long wait, pal. I've known her a long time, and if she goes through with this marriage, I, I think she's going to... She'll what? Regret it? Let's just say um, I have a, a deep sense of unease about this, all right? I, I care about Donna, and she can be pretty impulsive. Yeah, well, people change and grow. Yes, and there are some things that are just genetic. Okay, let me just say something here. I live with Donna's history with you every day. I know who you were to Donna. I know how who you were influenced who Donna is today. That's why you don't have all the facts, and I do. I know who Donna was, like you do. Mm -hmm. And I know who Donna is now, like you don't. I mean, we just didn't skip over this age thing. We went back and forth for a long time until we both finally realized we didn't work quite right without each other. We make sense together. And we're ready to commit to staying together for the rest of our lives in front of all the people we care about. Now, Donna's very loyal. She loves your mother. She wouldn't dream of getting married without Claire there. Your daughters are going to be there. If you don't want to be the only one left out, then give my fiancé some respect. That's all. I'm done. Well, thank you for setting me straight. Tell Claire goodnight for me. Matthew, when I left to Bay City before, uh, you were just a kid, but... Uh, I can see that you're not a kid anymore. Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't seem to have your heart in this game, dear. Did I lose again? <laughs> oh, Michael. Matthew is a fine man. Well, yeah, I... He's not what I expected, Ma. Well, according to Donna, it isn't what she expected either. Hmm. What do you think? I mean, what do you really think? Well, honestly, I think that, uh, I see love there. And I think that, uh, Donna has a good chance for real happiness. Well, I hope so. What did Michael say? Well... He was a jerk at first, but then he realized I was serious, and he was pretty decent, considering I ambushed him at his mother's house. So uh, everything is all right with the two of you? With the three of us. I told him that he shouldn't make trouble for us, and he should treat you with the respect you deserve. 
Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, my. Now that Michael's taken care of, we can resume our original schedule for the evening. This is the first time anybody has ever put that man in his place. <laughs> oh, Matthew, where are you taking me? Matthew, what are you doing? <laughs> 